welcome to Boise. We're gonna go ahead and check this place out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I missed anything. I always try to get you guys some of the latest and greatest stuff. First stop is gonna be the Capitol building. All right, let's go. Now, when you first drive up to the state Capitol building, you'll find tons of parking just outside on the street. Before you walk in, make sure to walk around the park and check out some of the statues they have right outside. State Capitol building has a lot of rich history of the state, so make sure to make a quick stop here and make sure to double check the website for hours of operation. All right, so we just pulled up at the old penitentiary, pen, penitentiary, penitentiary, I can never say that word, old penitentiary, <laughs> um, where the old jail was, I think they closed it in the 70s, 1970s something, um, right next to it will be the Bishop House, there is a trailhead, um, it also has the, the women's facilities here, and uh, we're gonna there's all well we're not gonna go see it but there's also a botanical garden and it looks like they have like an outdoor concert set up which is pretty nice um, we're just gonna do the the old jail um, but at least that way you guys know what's around this area so let's check this place out old Idaho penitentiary is a historical and haunted location my next video will be a walking tour of this place, so stay tuned for the details. This place was highly recommended by a lot of locals, so make sure to check it out. Okay, so uh, we're here at Freak Alley. Um, I gotta tell you, the the parking is insane. Um, it's really hard to get a parking. You gotta be like very, very good luck to get it. There's parking structures, but I did get one pretty close. Let's go check this place out. And as soon as we're done with that, let's go ahead and go to the park. I think it's called like Julia Park. And yeah, let's go. Okay, so this park area has like the Anne Frank Memorial. They also have the zoo, the Boise, Boise Zoo. They have a little pond here that you could actually rent a boat also. I know you saw the rafters and everything, but it's pretty, pretty freaking cool. 
Um, this place is massive. So many things that you can do here. And then if you saw that was the green belt, um, the river. Yeah, it's so much fun. I wish I had more time to come and just lay out on the river and just float. Um, yeah, let's go to the stadium. If you guys haven't seen it, this is the only football stadium with a blue turf from the college. Let's go check it out. Rolling up, Uber, black Cadillac, high heel boots, and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad. After her, there ain't no coming back. Wanna take a run at that? I think she's feeling me. Turn and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry I couldn't get more footage of the blue tarp, or well, I don't know what you call the blue grass. <laughs> um, tarp. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty cool I, I didn't want to get in trouble and I don't know what the rules are over here I, I got a notification saying like um, just to be careful in this area and I didn't see any post that says don't fly drones so you know I didn't want to push my luck so and before I forget make sure to check out Idaho Twin Falls that area is so beautiful and amazing it's only about two hours south of Boise video coming soon the other thing is make sure you do check out downtown Boise. I forgot to talk about some of the restaurants, but they are delicious. A lot of good bars and everything is just right here in this central local area. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is all the things that you should do when you come out to Boise. Bring some shorts, bring some sandals, bring some water shoes. Go to the river. That's probably like my favorite, most number one thing out of everything. Let me know what was your favorite out of all of it. So. With all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other, and we'll see you guys in the next one.